It's the Newlywed Game! And here are today's Newlyweds. This couple became husband and wife 17 months ago, Mari and Dion Walker. Our next couple marched down the aisle 22 months ago, Melissa and Tom Leibold. This couple sliced their wedding cake 11 months ago, Shannon and Anthony Garcia. And our final couple traded vows 19 months ago, Caroline and Cliff Thompson. And now, uh, here's the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubanks! Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the newlywed game. I want you to meet my four couples. You're ready to play, I assume. Yeah. All right, got a great second honeymoon for one of our four couples today, so in order to get started, we must ask the ladies to go off to the soundproof room, if you would, please, ladies. Hey, gentlemen, around one, I'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. If her answer matches your prediction, you get five points. And also remember that it's the one couple with the most points at the end of the show that wins a fabulous second honeymoon. So... The ladies are gone, and here's your first question for five points. Tell me, gentlemen, how many pounds will your wife say she should lose or gain if she wanted to appear on Baywatch? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cliff! That's oh, so funny, God. Cliff. Um, I have to go home with her tonight, so I'm going to say ten. Ten what? Lose ten. or gain? Lose ten pounds. She needs to lose ten pounds. Yes, sir. She would look okay at 10 pounds off in a Baywatch bathing suit. Well, she looks okay now, but she'd look better if she uh, lost 10 you pounds. big <laughs> chicken. Tom. I would have to say five. Lose or gain? Uh, lose five pounds. She needs to lose five pounds. All right, Dion? Lose 15 pounds. Lose 15 pounds. <laughs> All right, ladies. Why are you applauding down there? Cliff? I saw his wife. Anthony? Uh, I, I'm going to side with uh, Cliff, I think. I'm going to do a 10-pound uh, also. Lose or gain? Loose, loose. <laughs> Next question, gentlemen. The very last time you gave your wife the chills, will she say they started at her top and worked their way down, or they started at the bottom and worked their way up? Last time you gave her the chills, Tom, huh? where'd they start? Um, I'd have to say from the bottom up. They start from the bottom, work their way up. Dion? From the bottom up. Bottom up. Anthony? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go top down. Top down? Yeah. Hey, Cliff? Bottom up. You remember, huh? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. Next question. Gentlemen, which of your wedding guests will your wife say gave her the greatest competition for attention on your wedding day? <laughs> the on first name only, please. Who would that be? Tina. Tina did. Tina. I think that's a safe guess. Oh, you think so? You guys <laughs> are so such... I, I can't... You guys <laughs> wear pants. Why? You're so afraid of these ladies. Anthony. Yeah, I'm going to say um, Amber. Amber. Yes, All right. Yes. Good. Cliff. Uh, Liz. 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 All right. Tom. Good. I'd have to say Shelly. Go sister. ahead. Shelly. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll be right back to reunite the newlyweds. We'll see how well our husbands are predicting what they're lying for. The Medicare Advantage... everybody. Okay, gentlemen, we recorded your predictions on cards. You now have them in front of you. Each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. One couple with the most points at the end of the show is going to win a fabulous second honeymoon. And girls, if you win, you don't have to take your husband because they're big chickens. <laughs> First question, ladies, how many pounds would you say you should lose or gain if you wanted to appear on Baywatch? I mean, Shannon, I mean, have you seen the bikinis these girls wear? Um, I think that I should lose 25 pounds. Lose 25 pounds? Yeah, he said the same thing, only he, he didn't, but he said, no, I'm too chicken, I can't say it. Oh, so no. Anthony said, you should only lose uh, 10 pounds. Oh, oh. Boy, I know that's a lie. Yeah, he would lie, and we can tell his nose is growing. <laughs> Marvie. I'd go with 20 pounds. Lose or gain? Lose. Lose, yes. all right. Your husband said that you should lose uh, 15 pounds. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Try not to throw up at home, okay? Um, Melissa! Um, I would have to say lose 10 pounds. You should lose 10. Your husband said in order to be on Baywatch, you should only lose 5. Yeah. Uh, Caroline? Oh, gosh. I'll have to say at least 20. You should I, lose 20? Yeah, I've been trying to lose a lot of weight. And I keep complaining. How's it going? 
Not too bad, but do you, I... Do you wear those little string bikini things? Not until I lose another 20 pounds. Oh, okay. All right, Cliff said that you should lose uh, 10 pounds. All you should lose. You see what I mean, ladies? They were just big chickens. Next question, ladies. The very last time your husband gave you the chills, would you say they started at your top and worked their way down, or they started at the bottom and worked their way up? The last time, Marvie, he gave you the chills. Where did they start? The top and worked his way down. Is that right? He said they definitely started at the bottom and worked their way up. Hey. Oh. God. That wasn't too long ago. Oh. oh my goodness. Melissa, the last time he gave you the chills. I would have to say top to bottom. They started at the top and worked their way down. He said definitely they started at the bottom, worked their way up. What are you talking about? Maybe you chills from the top. It's always from your feet. Are you guys married? <laughs> I mean somebody gets a point. Caroline. Um Okay, bottom worked their way up. Bottom worked their way up. He predicted you would say, yeah! <laughs> yes. Okay, he's very systematic. He's a big word for a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> he's systematic. Yeah, so yeah. it's the top to the bottom, I'm going to think. You think? Chills. Yeah. yeah. Well, you should know. Yeah. That's yeah. Does he give you chills often? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. He said they started from the top and worked their way down. Yeah. Next question, ladies, tell me. Which of your wedding guests would you say gave you the greatest competition for attention on your wedding day? Melissa? I would have to say my brother, Tony. Tony. Now, you know what your husband said? He said that uh, Shelly gave you a lot of competition. Is that my sister? Well, she's always, you know, helping everyone, helping you out, and making sure everything went okay. Yeah. No. Caroline. Oh. Bird, please. I have to say his parents. His parents. All right. Now he predicted you would say no. It was card. It was Liz. Liz gave you competition. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Shannon. I'm gonna say I. I don't know her name. This cousin of Anthony's who was smoking in the bathroom and I started screaming at her and because there was supposed to be no smoking. She can't even smoke in the bathroom? No, because my dress. I didn't what about your dress? Were you changing the dress in the bathroom? No, but there were like eight people holding up my dress while I went well, that's to a little weird. I know, because it was big. So, oh. and then so, she was smoking and I started Why do you need a name? Um, that cousin? That cousin. Anthony <laughs> said, no, it was Amber that gave you the competition. Oh. Yeah, Marvie. Hi, I was thinking the same thing. My niece Janelle. Janelle, he predicted you would say it was Tina. 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 Why Tina? There's like 13 people. I know. Hey, Why we'll be Tina? back to see how well the wives can predict what their husbands will say right after these messages. <laughs> Hi, William Devane here. Ladies, now your husbands are all secluded off stage, and maybe they'll stay there. Now it's your turn to predict what they will say, and remember, each of these questions will now be worth 10 points. First question, ladies, will your husband say he thinks about sex most when he's eating a sandwich, watching TV, or working out? When does he think most about sex, Melissa? Eating a sandwich, watching TV, or working out? I would have to say watching TV. When he's watching TV, he thinks about sex. Yeah, she doesn't work out. No. <laughs> I can tell. Yeah. Marvie, what do you think? When does he think about sex? When he's eating a sandwich, watching TV, or working out? Watching TV. When he's watching television, he thinks about sex. There's a lot of stuff in there that he sees. What, what, uh, what is it? Pink Panther? Stuff like that? What does he watch? Oh, he watches those. <laughs> that devil. Shannon. I'm going to say when he's eating, because after he eats every time, he says, oh, baby, and then he always... It's oh. all over me after a good meal. Oh, baloney breath, huh? Okay. Yeah. Okay, Caroline? When he's watching TV. When he's watching TV, he thinks about sex. Yeah. Next question, ladies. If you and your husband were dogs, let's pretend like the two of you were dogs, who will he say would be better at catching the balls in their mouth? If you were dogs, Marvie? Me. You would be better? You say me. Okay. Yes. Huh. You better say me. Shannon. Definitely. You're dogs. Yeah, yeah. Definitely me. You? He, yeah. Huh. How about frisbees? Everything with... Yes. Really? Okay. <laughs> Caroline. Me. You'd be better at catching the ball in the mouth, okay? Melissa? I'd have to say me too. 
Me too. Okay, next question, ladies. How will your husband say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. When it comes to most things, I definitely wear the pants in this marriage. But when it comes to what? My husband may as well wear a dress. <laughs> Boy, is that question ever apropos for this group of guys. So, when it comes to most things here, Shannon, you wear the pants in the marriage. But when it comes to what, your husband might just as well wear a dress. Uh, I'm going to have to say when it comes to washing the dishes. Washing the dishes, he might as well wear a dress. Yeah, he's really good at it. He's really good. Yeah, he's good at it. And, uh, I kind of thought it. so. Caroline? <laughs> um, painting his car. Pardon me? Painting his car. Painting his car. Painting his car, dress. He's taking You're really trying to so win this game, aren't you? Long. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Melissa. Um, I would have to say he throws tantrums worse than my daughter. When it comes to throwing, a, the big baby throws a tantrum. Big one. Does he? What does he do? Oh, Get down on the floor and kick, or what does he do? Uh, runs out of the room, stomping. Stomps out. Throwing his hands up in the air. Lip comes out. Oh yeah. Does he do? Let me see what he looked like. He's like. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't know. Like, big old baby, Dion. Um, losing, losing at anything. When it comes to losing, yes, he's, he, he might as well wear a dress. Yes, he's a baby. He's a baby, He's a yeah. real competitor, so if he loses... Oh, really um, makes him mad. All right, 25-point bonus question. Ladies, how many shaves will your husband say he usually gets from a disposable razor? How many shaves, Caroline? Two. Two. Melissa? I'd say two. Two. Marvie? Two. Two. Shannon? One. Thank you. All right, we'll be back with the husbands to compare answers on the new way <laughs> Couples have scored five points. Two of our couples are yet to score any points, but we're going to see if they can catch up right now. Gentlemen, let's see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. And again, I'll remind you, these are the 10-point questions. Here's the first one. Gentlemen, would you say that you think about sex most when you're working out, eating a sandwich, or watching TV? When do you think about sex most, Dion? When you're working out, eating a sandwich, or watching TV? I'm ready for this one. Yeah, this one. Ready. What is it? Watching television. What? No doubt. How come? Because what's on the screen? What's on the screen? <laughs> Little special shows. <laughs> <laughs> you don't watch that porno stuff, do you, on TV? Yeah. My mom may be watching. <laughs> <laughs> Your mother made you watch it? No. Your mother watches porno stuff too? Hey, that's how about my mama. Huh? That's how about my mom. No, no, I'm just asking. No, I said I can't. I don't want to reveal. Well, but we, ma, your mom already knows that you watch porno on TV now. <laughs> well, thanks, Bob. That's all right. <laughs> trying to help you out. Marvie yeah. said it definitely is when you're watching TV. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tom, what do you think about sex? When you're working out, eating a sandwich, or watching TV? Well, the best answer would be TV. Okay, TV. She said the best answer is when you're watching television. All right. When you're eating, all right? She said it's definitely when you're eating a sandwich. Right. <laughs> Big old weenie sandwich. <laughs> Gentlemen, think about this. If you and your wife were dogs, who would be better at catching balls in the air? Two of you are dogs. Who would be better at catching the balls in the air? Huh? Uh, I would have to say me. You, sure. She's okay. a klutz. Pardon me? She's a klutz. She's a klutz. <laughs> All right. She said definitely. I hope you're not catching both. No, now. she would. <laughs> she would be better. What are you talking about? Huh. <laughs> Cliff. Oh, I definitely would, Bob. You'd be better. Oh, you bet. I, I knew you'd say that. How'd you know that? <laughs> well, because I just knew you would. Well. Because you're probably more athletic than she is. Yeah, yeah, I didn't say so. And you make a better dog ball catcher. Well, I make a better yeah. puppy dog than Yeah, yeah. sure. All right. Caroline said, definitely, she would be better. <laughs> Anthony, what do you think about this? Yeah, I, I think this is where we uh, 
pull ahead of the pack here. <laughs> well, I certainly hope so, Anthony. <laughs> uh, and um, I know the real answer, and Just I know what's the damn answer. answer. <laughs> The, the answer is, she would be better. Thank you very much. <laughs> she said the answer is, she would be better. Yes, okay. <laughs> Why are you applauding? <laughs> I'm ready for this one. <laughs> are you ready for this one? Who We're would be roll. better? We're on a roll. Okay. I won't say the wife is clumsy. I'll no. say I am more athletically inclined. So you are better than absolutely. Yes, I am. Okay, I knew you would say that too. <laughs> I am. Marty better. said for sure. Congratulations. She would be better. <laughs> yeah. Talk to the hand. That's it. Talk to the hand. Just talk to the hand. Yeah, you were going to pull ahead there. You're still in last place, man. Gentlemen. How would your wife complete this sentence? This is her talking. She said, when it comes to most things, I, meaning her, she definitely wears the pants in this marriage. But when it comes to what? My husband may as well wear the dress. <laughs> Cliff, she wears the pants in the family, which is obvious. But when it comes to blank, you might as well wear a dress, big guy. When it comes to cleaning the house. Cleaning the house. All right. She said, when it comes to... Painting your car, you might as well wear a dress. Anthony, she's the boss. She wears the pants in the marriage. Could have told you that earlier. But when it comes to what, you might as well wear a dress. Uh, most things. No, just but give it. No, Anthony, <laughs> Anthony, pin it down to what? Uh, jeez, uh, uh, cooking. Cooking, thank you very much. She said when it comes to uh, washing the dishes, you might as well wear a dress. That's what you do. Oh, that's what Dion, <laughs> this is your chance. Dion, this is it, man. This is your chance to kind of, you know, <laughs> you feel it coming, Bob? Yeah, you feel I feel it coming, it coming man. Hey, I Bob. know it's about to happen. Here it comes. Ooh, Here it what comes. Is it? What is it? Grooming myself. Grooming oh, yourself. I... Oh, <laughs> Anthony. Anthony, this is not good. <laughs> this is not good. She says when it comes to, uh, when it comes to losing, what you're doing right now, <laughs> you might as well wear a dress. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Yeah. Tom, when it comes to what, you might as well wear a dress. Doing housework. Doing housework. She said, when it comes to, no, throwing tantrums, you big baby. <laughs> Before we get to our 25-point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. Kramer! You're going to beautiful Jamaica! You'll stay at beaches, the alcohol, inclusive active resort for everyone, singles, families, and couples too. Part of the Sandals Resort family, these island paradises offer luxurious accommodations, gourmet dining, entertainment for adults and kids, and so much more. Beaches, where everything is included for everyone. And round trip airfare provided by Air Jamaica, non stop campaign flights on the newest fleet in the Caribbean. Red carpet check in, complimentary beverages on every flight. Air Jamaica, thank you, guys. Thank you, John, very much. Okay, gentlemen, 25 point bonus question. Gentlemen, how many shaves, how many shaves would you say you usually get from a disposable razor? Now, let's go to couple number two. Dion and Marvie with 10, 25 would give you 35. Dion, truly, man, this is it. I mean, with 25 points added to your 10, you oh, yes. can go from last place to first place. I mean, I feel it coming now. This I feel it just, you know, I mean, you can do it, man. This has got to be it. Concentrate, this mental telepathy. To How many shades do you get from a disposable? Two. two. She said, two. Yeah. Yeah. All right, couple number three, Tom and Melissa with 10, 25, we give you 35. If you get it right, you're tied for the lead. If you miss it, you go home in last place, and you can really throw a tantrum if you want. <laughs> I think I might. I would have to say two also, Bob. Two. She said two. All right. All right, couple number four. Cliff and Caroline with 15, 25 gives you 40. Cliff, if you get it right, you will be in first place. If you miss it, you go home in last place. Kind of makes you itch, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yeah. <laughs> two. Two. She said two. Yeah. All right. Well. Come on, Anthony, I'm rooting for you, guy. You got 25 points. If you get it right, you and your wife are going on a fabulous second honeymoon. If you miss it, you literally go home in last place, disgraced, 
among your children to be, and all your relatives and neighbors, and your work peoples, and all of that stuff. Okay. What's your answer, Anthony? Uh, hairy Italian guy. I'm saying one. One. She said. Yeah.